Hello there, Libra friends. How are you? I know I'm really up close and personal right now, but that's just to say hello before we get into your mid-November reading for December 2020. I'm not mistaken. I know I haven't even finished the December readings, but I felt like a mid-month reading made more sense right now. So I love you guys dearly, and I thank you for all of your likes and your views from the last video. So I'm jumping to Libra, although it is Sagittarius season. Shh, don't tell anybody. All right, guys, so I'm going to turn the camera around here, friends, so you can see the cards as they come out. And let's see what guidance we have, Libra, for you guys for mid-December. So we have always do your best and take action without expecting a reward, guys. And the guidance on this card says do your best and take the action because you love it, not because you expect a reward. When you take action without expecting a reward, you enjoy every action and you can even receive greater rewards than you imagined. All right, let's get you a card, guys, from the Ask and It Shall Be Given deck. This is a deck by Jerry and Esther Hicks. If you all follow Esther Hicks. Um, so let's get a card from that deck, Libra. And this is for mid-December mid 2020. I will go, I will do, I'll finish the overall monthlies, guys. I just wanted to, I just felt like I needed to jump ahead to something that may be more pertinent and what you all may need right now. Okay. You have my slightest improvements is of such great value. And it says there is tremendous value when you are able to at, deliberately cause even the slightest improvement in the way you feel. For even in that small emotional improvement, you may have regained a measure of control. You no longer feel powerless. And so your trek back up the emotional scale is now not only possible, but it is relatively easy. So this feels really good. Like you made some small change, Libra, that gives you hope. It's like, you know what? And both of these cards are about doing your best and taking action. So I feel like there's something you guys are doing or will do that gives you hope, that makes you feel like, you know what, I am making progress. Things are going better. All right, awesome. So it makes you feel like a princess, a queen, or a king, huh? All right, so your angel answer card, friends, is to choose a new direction. So maybe you take steps in a new direction, Libra, that give you hope that makes you feel like, okay, I am going in the right direction. I'm, I'm moving in the right, I'm on the right path. I'm doing what I should be doing, which feels really, really good. All righty. And I'll pick you an animal message card for mid-December. Well, you know what? As a matter of fact, I think I'm just going to move this because that creates expectation. So why don't we just move that little and we'll work with these three guidance cards here. Take action without delay. Choose a new direction and your slightest improvements are of great value. All righty. All right, friends. So we'll start with your overall energy all right guys so you have the five of swords here libra and this is your energy is air but this is about when you win at all costs right and the wheel of fortune is here which is a card it's a big card of jupiter and it's about good luck and timing and things like that. So that looks really, really good. So it could be your time to win. So you could feel that way. Like it's my time to shine. It's my turn to win. I'm going to do what I need to do. It looks really good. Let's take a look at the crossing energy. Now, this Five of Swords is also the card of conflict and defeat, Libra, which could be 
you feeling like you know you could feel like I need to win something but your guidance is to do your best without expecting something in return but we'll see what's going on there what's the crossing energy for my Libra friends All right, guys, we have here the Eight of Pentacles. And that is, you know, really working and studying something. It's paying attention. It's being astute. Could be being a student of something. Okay. Hmm. Let's take a look at your foundational energy. All right, you have the judgment card, which is about making decisions. It's also about breakthrough moments. Deciding to do something you love with this king of cups there. Yeah, I think it's really important, guys, if you are, you know, you could be studying something. Um, and I don't know if you can see the cards really good. But you could be studying something. There could be something you're really, really interested in doing. And, you know, you could just be making a decision to do something that you love. It's like, you know what? I'm going to choose a new direction. It could be a new career path or something like that. Let's take a look at your recent past. All right. We have the Knight of Cups and the Six of Cups. So this is very nostalgic energy, guys. I do feel like there could be something, a childhood dream, something you wanted to do when you were younger that really um, floats your boat. It's like, you know what? I've always wanted to do X, Y, and Z. And so maybe recently you decided, I'm going to explore that a little bit further. All right, let's take a look at your crowning energy, Libra friends. What is the crowning energy for Libra? All right, we have here the Empress expanding on your passions with the Ace of Wands. This is excellent. So you're expanding on your passions, which is beautiful. Yeah, some of you could be dealing with a new Taurus or Leap. Well, that is your energy, Libra, right? So it's you. Um, or you could be dealing with a Taurus. But, I, uh, you know, somebody who really lights your fire. But I feel like you feel inspired. There's something. It could be related to love. It could be a new person. Or it could just be something you're very, very passionate about. Um, you could be expanding, starting a new business or something like that. And let's take a look at your outcome. We have here the Hierophant, Taurus energy. It's about wisdom. It's about having a mentor, sometimes spiritual development or leadership, and the Nine of Wands, um, Fire, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, but more so about not giving up on something that you believe in. And the Two of Wands is being at a crossroads or seeing the possibilities in something, guys. So let's clarify this. Um, it really feels strongly like you guys are really trying to improve yourselves. Like there's something, whether you're going back to school or you're just making a decision to finally do what you love or pursue someone you love. Um, I definitely feel like the guidance is letting you know to not give up, Libra friends, to take action. Let's clarify your overall energy, which is the Wheel of Fortune. What is the Wheel of Fortune and the Five of Swords? It's a very determined energy, Libra. Like, you're determined to win. 
And I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune card, winning could come much easier for you now than maybe it did before. So let's take a look. Let's clarify that. What is the Wheel of Fortune and the Five of Swords? All right, guys. So you have the Five of Pentacles, another five, which is a card of change. And you also have the Knight of of wands sagittarius aries or leo is very impulsive these are very impulsive energies um now the knight of wands can sometimes be considered like the um one night stand card or you could be de could be dealing with someone who isn't that interested in commitment libra and i also have the lovers here at the bottom of the deck which is uh gemini as a card goes so I feel like there could be someone that you may be connected with, but they did not, or you did not. Someone wasn't very interested in commitment, although they were interested in that connection at the time. What's the five of swords? Yeah, the four of wands is here. Speaks to twin flame energy sometimes, connection or marriage, and the knight of swords. So sometimes the Knight of Swords is about someone from your past coming back. And it can also be about when you have a sudden change of mind about something. It's also making me feel like someone could be feeling, it could be you, Libra, or your significant other, but it makes me feel like someone wants to Maybe somebody wanted to see what it was like out there. You know what I mean? As far as dating and things like that. And then they decide, well, you know what? I want to work on my marriage. Or they could feel very torn about working on a marriage or a relationship once they've had a chance to sort of see what's out there. Why is the Eight of Pentacles in the challenge? Right, we have here the three of swords so some kind of disappointment or heartache friends and the star card which is all about healing it's also the card of aquarius so that is what's in your challenge guys is some kind of heartbreak something disappointing happening where you could possibly need to heal and keep your hopes alive keep your dreams alive what is the judgment card and the king of cups All right, we have the Eight of Cups, which is walking away from something that is hurtful, something that doesn't serve you anymore, Libra. That's in your foundational energy. Making a decision to be happy. And you have another eight here, the Eight of Pentacles again, which is being very consistent, making progress, staying focused, and moving forward on something. All right, so we have the Empress again that fell out, which is your crowning energy up here. But I'm going to go ahead and clarify the Ace of Wands, which I do feel for some of you is a new direction. I feel like you know and you sense it's time for you to do something new, to do something different, to take action. Doing Just taking one step forward will help increase your sense of value and you feeling like, you know what, I'm finding my place in the world. I'm doing what makes me feel good. What is the Ace of Wands and the Empress? Yeah, I feel like you've been gifted with a fresh start. For many of you, it could be doing something creative as a career choice or you've started a new project. But I feel like overall, you just have been gifted with a new dream, a new direction. All right, yeah, the Empress came out again. So this is meant for you, Libra. This is your energy. This is about expansion, being fulfilled. Very nice and triumphant too, being recognized for a job well done. This is about the Six of Wands. It's about success and promotion. 
Um, if it is, for some people, if it is about pregnancy, I do feel like you are expecting and may start showing soon or something like that. Let's take a look at, let's clarify your outcome, which is the Hierophant, the Judgment card, Rebirth, Reconnection, uh, Reconciliation sometimes. What's the Nine of Wands? We have the Hierophant again. with the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. And let's take a look at the Two of Wands. So this looks really like reconciliation, Libra. If someone left you or you left them, I do feel like the challenge could be forgiving someone here with the Star and the Three of Swords. Uh, forgiveness could be a challenge because I feel like you may want to move in a new direction. You may want to do things that give you value and make you feel good about yourself, but someone could be returning or want to return to your committed relationship or marriage, in fact. What's the Two of Wands? The Fool card, right? Being single, taking a risk on your own. And the Two of Cups. And I feel like some of you guys do have a decision to make with this King of Swords energy. And it's a big decision, right? Deciding, do you really want to be single and go, on, go it alone? Or do you want to be in a committed relationship? And it looks like that's a big question for some of you. Your guidance is to choose a new direction, right? And to do things that improve who you are, to do things that add dimension to yourself, it will make you feel good. Um, just improving yourself, improving your station in life. And doing things that are just for you, not expecting anything in return, but doing your best, guys. So this reading really does look like Libra. You get the gift of a fresh start. The question is, will you take it? All right. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to check me out each day at 3 for the Daily Tea at 3 if you need a personal or private reading. You could get one on the spot for $20.20, or you can use the links in the description box to book an appointment with me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon.